Hello friends, today we are going to talk on tensors, a very important topic of TensorFlow library. As you all know that in TensorFlow all the computations involve tensors. So tensors is the basic concept. Or atomic unit in TensorFlow is tensors. So it is very important to understand tensors and its types. Tensors are multidimensional arrays with a uniform type. Uniform type means containing elements of a single data type called a D-type where D stands for data. A tensor is a generalization of factors and matrices and is easily understood as a multidimensional array. Or you can say tensor is an array of numbers arranged on a regular grid with a variable number of axes. If you are familiar with NumPy, then tensors are just like NumPy arrays. All tensors are immutable like Python numbers and strings. That means you can never update the contents of a tensor, only you can create a new one. Tensors are identified by the three parameters which are rank, shape and type. Rank, it is the unit of dimensionality described within a tensor. It identifies the numbers of dimensions of the tensor. The number of rows and columns together define the shape of a tensor and type describes the data type assigned to the tensor's elements. As in this expression you can see, let's talk about its types. First one is zero dimensional which is also known as scalar. A tensor that contains only one number is called a scalar or scalar tensor or zero dimensional tensor or OD tensor. That means it has magnitude only. A scalar has zero axis and is of rank zero as shown in the diagram. One dimensional or rank one tensor. It has only one row and one column and is known as vector. 1D tensor is similar to 1D matrix or you can say it has magnitude and direction. And vector has one axis and is of rank one. In this, I have taken a vector with shape 3, that means it has 3 spaces. 2-dimensional or rank 2 tensor. 2-dimensional tensor is similar to 2-dimensional matrices. A 2-dimensional matrices have n number of rows and n number of columns. Similarly, 2-dimensional tensor has n rows and n columns also. It is defined as table of numbers. And matrix is a tensor of rank 2, meaning that it has two axes. As in this case, I have taken a matrix with shape 3, 2. That means it has three rows and two columns. Next one is three-dimensional or rank 3 tensor. It is cube of numbers. A 3D tensor or rank 3 tensor is a cube, an array of array of arrays. Tensor of rank 3 means it has three axes. This can be seen in this diagram. Next one is the four dimensional or rank four tensors is an array of 3D tensors. 4D tensors are great at storing a series of images like JPGs. Dimensional or rank five tensors, it is a, an array of 4D tensors. A 5D tensor can store video data or you can say it is used for storing video data. And dimensional, so it is clear to you, any data can be represented by a tensor and n-dimensional vector or matrices. A tensor is nothing but it is a container which can house data in n dimensions. So this is tensor with different dimensions. So it is clear to you that the number of dimensions defines its rank and its length defines its shape. So scalar vector matrix and tensor is clear to you. That's all we have today's lecture. Thank you.